Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your weekly reading for February 8th through February 14th. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do note, it's still a general message, so take what resonates and simply drop what does not. Feel free to check your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs for you or your counterpart. If you are unsure or unaware of what your other planetary placements are, there is a link in my description box to a prenatal calculator that can help you suss out that information. To all my Cancer subscribers and return visitors, welcome. Thank you for all your likes, your comments, your views, your shares, your interaction here on the channel. I am sending each and every one of you a wave of gratitude because truly you make what I do here so rewarding. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I am Amy for the Syrian House of Tarot and we would love for you to consider joining us by simply hitting that subscribe button if you feel so called. That being stated, just one little tiny announcement, Cancer, and then we'll jump into your reading. I am battling a cold, so you may hear sniffling, coughing, sneezing, or God forbid, wheezing during this reading. If, I, if you do hear it, because I can hear it, I do apologize wholeheartedly. Nothing I can do but ride the wave until it's better. That being stated, let's go ahead and jump into your reading, Cancer. We're going to start with a spirit guide message, and then we will move on to your overall energy, pull some romance angels, and then take a look at the tarot. All right, so you guys, what do we have? Thank you. All right, so this message can be for any part of your life, Cancer. It doesn't have to be centered on love. All right, so we've got study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it is time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new, this is an opportunity to expand your mind. This card is your sign that, yes, it's time to commit to a period of new learning and study. Spirit is telling you how vital it is to never stop growing and challenging yourself throughout life. Your ability and desire to work towards a goal will not only expand your mind and consciousness, but also help you grow as an individual. New learning and study comes in many ways and forms. For example, you may want to enroll in an evening course or take time out of your busy schedule to, to attend a full weekend shop, workshop. Whether it's something purely practical or more spiritual, this card is Spirit's way of saying the moment is here and you're ready to expand your mind. So whether it's a book you've been meaning to study or that class you wanted to go to, start today and take this card as confirmation that the timing is right. Then watch the ways in which your life changes and grows with new learning. By expanding your mind, a whole new direction or path may unfold with boundless opportunities. All right, so... It's time, the moment is the moment is right and right for you guys to learn something new or expand your mind. I like that energy. I like that message. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th through a February 14th, 2022. Let's take a look at Cancer's overall energy and the hidden energy for Cancer, please, at this time. What how is Cancer showing up? Overall energy for Cancer, please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance. How is Cancer showing up? What is our overall energy at this time? Please show me clearly. Thank you. And what is the hidden energy? Thank you. All right. So, Cancer. We've got the Seven of Wands as your overall energy and the Eight of Swords is a hidden energy. There's something that you guys are trying to overcome, outmaneuver, achieve. Some of you guys could be blocked off, walled off, got your walls sky high. But I feel like for some of you, you feel, some of you felt, or, you know, subconsciously feel like you can't do it. While the others, you know, subconsciously you're feeling like I'm trapped, I'm stuck, my hands are tied, I, there's nothing I can do, there's a blockage in your way. And subconsciously, I think you guys are struggling here. But this is telling me with the Seven of Wands, you have the ability and the power to overcome the situation if you so choose to. Answer. Because you got the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It tells me there's many opportunities available to you. You just have to look around. 
and evaluate the situation. This is a crossroads moment for you, but you have the ability to overcome whatever this challenge or blockage is in your way. It could be anything that could be physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Um, you know, it could actually be a person, a situation, a relationship, or something else. But there's something that you feel that is standing in your way between something that you, between you and something that you want. But there are plenty of opportunities to overcome the situation and and and. and and overcome these challenges or this blockage, but you just have you have to believe in yourself. Some of you may need to study up a little bit, and you might then have the answer. But there's definitely a you know the availability to overcome whatever this is standing for you, whatever's blocking your path forward. All right, let's see the energy of your person, Cancer. How how they're coming through at this time? How is Cancer's person coming through? Overall energy for Cancer's person, please. Best message, advice, and guidance. What is Cancer's person's overall energy? Thank you. And the hidden energy? Thank you. All right. So we have... Mm, we've got significant fire sign energy showing up here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Doesn't have to be. All right, so your person is being brave and courageous. They may be being tamed and held back a little bit. They definitely got that tempered energy within the strength card. But we definitely got the king of wands also. So what I feel like is your person, there's something very much driving this person forward. They want or wanting to drive them forward. There, there's something passionate, some type of action they really want to take here with the king of wands. Some kind of, there's something that they're very passionate about that they want to achieve, obtain. It's a goal that they've set. They have this very well may be you, Cancer. They may be wanting to come towards you. They may be very passionate towards you. But I feel like they're holding back. They're tempering this down. And I don't think that you know about it with the Seven of Swords. I feel like they're not either not communicating with it to you. There's something that they're trying to get away with. They may be keeping this hidden. Or they may not be fully communicating to you how much they're very passionate or how much they truly feel here. They're waiting for some type of opportunity. They're really focusing on coming up with a plan in order to enact this goal that they have. Wow, guys. Um, let's see what the energy of the connection is. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at the energy of this connection between cancer and their person. What is the overall energy of this connection? Thank you. Yep. All right, so what I am getting is the two of wands with the four of wands. So that there's a path that leads to commitment, a path that leads to stability. Could be a long-term partnership in question. There's a choice here, a decision. Someone needs to choose a path, or you both need to choose a path forward. And, you know, this again, it looks at, you know, subconsciously this is talking about the foundation of this connection. For some of you, this could be getting engaged, getting married, moving in together, solidifying your relationship in some kind of way. But your path forward is being illuminated by, by spirit or by you, Cancer, with the Hermit. I do feel like for some of you who are in separation, may not be speaking a whole lot. Or if not in separation, there could be emotional distance between you and your person at this time. I'm getting like you both are in your own separate little corners here. But I, but I feel like you're both are being illuminated to which path to follow forward to get to this place of commitment. There's definitely a strong love here. And the potential for emotional fulfillment and, and, and uh, happily ever after with that Ten of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. And both of you are in the process of waiting for your ship to come in. I see communication and forward movement with honesty, integrity, and place. Wow. All right, Cancer. Let's go ahead and pull some romance angels on this, and then we will get into the tarot. <clears throat> All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. How are they showing up at this time? What is your best message, advice, and guidance? Coming through for my beautiful Cancers, thank you. We've got healing family issues. You are love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so family might be a hurdle in your path, Cancer, or old past pain from past family situations or from childhood or, you know, past relationships. But I feel like you're in the process of healing. 
all those old wounds, doing that work that's needed this could be the obstacle that was in your way. And some of it sometimes may feel like daunting is what I'm getting. But the more you work with this, the more you take a deeper dive. Some of you may be reading self-help books or was thinking about it or taking a seminar or class. Or even maybe, you know, working with a, uh, with a master or life coach. But I definitely see some movement for a lot of you guys and doing some, you know, shadow work, some healing. Whether you're working with another person or you're kind of just doing it yourself, I see you doing that. You got new love coming in. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings or a new new love or renewal in love is coming towards you guys. All right, so let's see your person. Let's take a look at Cancer's person. How are they showing up at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Yeah, Cancer, they've got to express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. And this person's in separation from a lot of you. A lot of you, you're in separation again. This could be physically, emotionally, spiritually. This could be an actual physical or emotional distance between you with a separation. But they are about ready to come in or wanting to come in and express their love. They're ready to make, getting ready to make that romantic gesture. But again, you both have to choose that path forward, right? So let's see this connection, please, Spirit. What's going on between cancer and their person? Please show me clearly. Precisely, accurately. Show me the connection. Okay. <laughs> We've got new love at the bottom of the deck. We've got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And we've got new love. And getting to know each other. So I feel like you guys are calling each other in, especially the soulmate energy. Um, if some of you, again, this is about working on your partnership. I'm giving this relationship a chance to flourish and foster. There's new love or renewal and love coming through for most of my cancers at this time. I like it. I'm loving it, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot and see what's coming through for my beautiful cancers. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please, for February 8th through February 14th, 2022, in the area of love and romance. What's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for my for my Cancer's highest vibration and highest good. Looking at past, present, future energy of her Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. Tower at the bottom of the deck says, Shake up and changes, epiphanies are on their way if it has not already been happening. All right, let's see what's going on, Cancer. All right, so Cancer, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the devil. So there is a toxic overturn. Some of you may have, or your person may be thinking, like, that they're not good enough. There's going to be addiction, addiction, overindulgence. Some type of toxicity has taken place within this connection in some form or another. Again, it could be anywhere from self-critical thinking to actual physical addictions to self-limiting beliefs, how we talk to ourselves, toxic pattern behaviors in relationships. They could be involved in another toxic connection. Of some sort it doesn't have to be romantic it could even be from work or friendship or family but the devil is here so this could also be obsessive thoughts too um let's go ahead and give it to do and give it its knowledge this is kind of affecting how the flow of this of this situation is going overall energy we have the empress so there is ability for growth and abundance and for renewal this could be a divine feminine um energy taking shape um, the hidden energy here is the Three of Cups, so there's good news and celebration that's going to be on its way. It's all kind of happening in the in the background, but I definitely see the abundance and growth and new beginnings here. Reasons to celebrate and rejoice. All right, so let's look at the past. This is your past energy. This is your present energy. This is the future energy, Cancer. So in the past energy, you're getting the Justice, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So I feel like there was an imbalance and a connection and a relationship. They were... Things just didn't feel very good for my cancers. There was this energy of, you know, being not being satisfied with what you currently had. 
missing the opportunity that possibly missing or not seeing the opportunity that was actually around you at the time, Cancer. Again, this could be you or your person. In the heart of the matter, we have the emperor. So this is telling me that it action, action is needed. So currently you're not taking any action towards a divine, divine masculine, or you're not taking any action towards moving this forward, even though you want an opportunity or an opportunity is presenting itself, Cancer. There is a feeling of stuck. Again, this could be this blockage, just keeping things moving, but it's going to take action to get to this opportunity. Hmm. Future energy, we've got the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you're keeping an eye on the situation, waiting for an opportunity, or those blockages are being moved, and then there's plenty of options on the table for you, Cancer. So let's go ahead and get a clar some clarifiers here and see what else we can find out about the situation. All right, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, please clarify this Justice card for my Cancers. What is this Justice? What are they weighing out? The balance on here. Okay, on a connection, on the foundation, on the stability of a relationship. Weighing the pros and cons. I see that happening. Okay, what's going on? All right, so this is, yeah, there is a situation, Cancer, that you here had a choice, had a decision that you needed to make about a, a connection or a long-term relationship with an individual or a partner. It could be a marriage for some of you, or again, or this could be looking at, you know, the path that would leave you lead you forward to what you were searching for here. But there was this energy of wanting to take after and go. You're weighing out the pros and cons of the situations laid out before you, your choices, batting back and batting back and forth battling back and forth between which way to go with this i feel like you definitely were weighing uh weighing the good and the bad the yes and the no in this situation all right show me this lovers or two of cups <laughs> Want to show me the two of cups please all right so cancer i'm getting the nine of wands this tells me you're still holding out for hope for a true partnership or you guys were wounded when it came to love here and confused and overwhelmed and conflicted yeah so i feel like again a lot of you were, and were trying to make a choice here in the past which way which direction to go in some of you may had an offer for commitment or maybe you know a renewal here um, for some of you this could be getting engaged getting married uh, you know, there could have been some type of offer, moving in together, solidifying relationship. You may have been looking at the options of that way and the pros and cons of that. Needing to make a choice, needing to choose a path forward. Some of you are kind of blocking this off a little bit, a little bit wounded. Some of you were holding out hope for this with somebody. Feeling a little confused, not sure what to choose. You may have had more than one option presenting itself. And with the two of wands, I'm going to say that's definitely the case. Some of you are wanting to someone to come in and sweep you off your feet with this Knight of Cups. But I feel like when your eyes were wounded, you had many options when it came to love. So some of you are thinking about offering your cup. There was a lot of conflict. A lot of conflict in this situation. Whether it's internal or external, but there was conflict. What is this Four of Cups? For Cancer in the past position. Yep. Some of you may have an opportunity to fix a connection with someone. All right, so this could again could be your person. But Cancer, what I am getting here is for some of you, this was an opportunity or path that opened up for you to be able to move forward into a commitment, into a marriage, into a partnership, or leveling up a one. You were guys were kind of holding out hope. For a particular cup that you wanted to be offered or to offer to somebody. Somebody that you felt very connected to or, or drawn to. This could again be you, Cancer, or your person. And here is what I'm getting. We've got the Hanged Man, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Swords with the Four of Cups. So what I'm getting here for my Cancer is either you were completely dissatisfied with what you had in the moment. So you weren't taking any action because you were holding out hope for this one particular cup, this new beginning. You may have had your eye on a particular person and you were hoping that that person would come forward and make this offer to you. Or you were holding back from making a decision about this while you kept an eye on a different situation, but just something about this was definitely not satisfying you. Okay, so you're currently in the hanged man. 
So let's see what's going on with this hanged man, this emperor, and the ace of pentacles. Why is the hanged man here? Or my beautiful cancers? Okay, so you're not taking any action to build or work on anything currently. So the hanged man, if there's, you're currently not taking any action or your person's not taking any action, there is an opportunity here that they are, you know, agonizing over, maybe overthinking, um, but they could be working on an opportunity. If, you know, if, if this is them, they could be not taking any current action while they put together and, and put effort and work into an opportunity that they may be overthinking and want to bring to you. Some of, the, some of you want to move forward. Or if someone wants to move forward towards you uh, and be recognized for this effort, for this work, and to have reconciliation to restore the balance between you or bring balance to this connection, even things out. For a lot of you, I feel like this is you not putting any effort into an opportunity because you're still agonizing over a situation. This could be a past situation, heartbreak and pain, um, or past, you know, something that just didn't work out that you're replaying in your head, Cancer. That could have, would have, should have in a situation, but currently not taking any opportunity, taking action towards an opportunity that would require you to maybe to work with somebody as well. But at the end of the day, I don't see any, any action happening towards whatever this opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles is, but it's here. But in the center of this is the, the Emperor. This is somebody who takes action, takes control of their time. So let's see this Emperor for Cancer. Why is the Emperor here? Let's clarify the Emperor, please. Thank you. All right. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. All right. And the Nine of Pentacles. So, Cancer, in order to stand in your own, own power um, with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like it needs to take action with the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You know, in order to have an opportunity, in order to move things forward past you, to have an adventure to get the knowledge that you're searching for here um to you know go after this opportunity whatever that is for you because all of you it's going to be different but in order to do that it's going to take action it's going to be required that you stand in your own light and in your own power that you do so with this unconditional unwavering ring love that you're in control of your emotions moving forward because this is definitely my cancers with the king of cups you know it's being in control of your emotions being steadfast in your own power, stable on your own feet, and taking action, moving forward, communicating passionately, clearly, with a spark of interest, you know, Ace of Wands, passionate new, new start, passionate new idea here, passionately communicating what, what this opportunity is that you desire or that you want, but it's going to require you to take action, stand in your own power, be in control of your emotions for this to happen. All right, what do we have with this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, that was the Knight of Wands. It just kind of flew off the table. The message that I'm already getting before I even finish shuffling is this is this opportunity up there. <laughs> All right, so the universe is gifting you with an opportunity here. Um, absolutely gifting you, but here's what the message was already coming through. In order to take action on this opportunity, you have to take action moving forward, focus forward, looking towards the future, not the past cancer. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. This is about taking quick, fast, passionate, almost impulsive action. It's kind of a little bit of chaotic energy, but it wants you to look forward. It wants you to face forward, turn your back on the past, and move forward to this new opportunity. Stop looking backwards. No rear view. Tear it off. And this is going to lead to this, to this abundance. you got to stand in your power, Cancer. You've got to take this action. In order to have this opportunity that's being gifted to you from the universe, you have to take action and you have to look forward not backwards, and you have to stand in your power, your light. I feel like this has to do with you being, you know, confident within yourself. 
Cancer. And, you know, maybe this is kind of why the healing of family issues is coming up because, you know, that could be in the past and that could be bubbling up. This could be what's heavy in the mind. You know, mind likes to pay tricks with us, especially when we're getting close to what we truly want. So let's see how you're looking here in the future with this page of swords. All right, the Page of Swords is seeing the truth. It's something's being illuminated to, it's something is being illuminated for you, Cancer, about your past. Something that you keep looking back on with a lot of regret and sadness. Spirit was trying to illuminate this for you. They're trying to point out the truth here for you to see. And this is definitely for you, Cancer, because there is the King of Cups. So they want you to, uh, this may be why you're getting the study, study, study um, card as well. This is, you know, they're illuminating something here about the past that you keep looking back on. That you keep, it's keeping your hands tied. It's keeping you from being able to fully move forward and grasp the opportunities that are open to you. They want you to, to take a look at the truth, see the clarity and what they're illuminating about this past situation because they want you to put it down. They want you to take a leap of faith in a new direction, Cancer. There's something from the past that's going to resurface within you or around you. This could be a person. This could be a situation. It could be a feeling. But something's going to refer, resurface within you this week. And they want you to, to really pay attention to what, what exactly they're illuminating with this past. Wheel of Fortune for my Cancers. Yeah, there's going to be an opportunity to move forward. Some of you, this could be an opportunity to actually, you know, from your person coming in to communicate. Yep, and it's crossroads decision. This is going to determine whether or not you move forward or you stay still, whether it's a rebirth or an ending cancer. Hmm. Wow, they're definitely like hitting it hard tonight. What is the Seven of Cups for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? Seven of Cups. Yeah, you have an opportunity to walk away from something that's not serving your highest good. But you're kind of, you know, if <laughs> Cancer, this is exactly, you have an opportunity to walk away. To throw your hands up in the air and say, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm leaving the past and behind me and I'm moving forward. But they're saying that there's a possibility that you may fight this, uh, this, this energy. They are bringing you this cup. There's something in your past that you don't want to stop looking at. Three of cups there. Something that you may be not satisfied or not happy because you had it, but you don't have it now. And this may be what's keeping you holding on. But they want you to let go. They want you to put it down. They want you to stop fighting for this. They're wanting you to choose the option that's going to be best for you. Overall. And this is a gift that they're trying to bring you, Cancer. But they want you to put down the past. They're like, throw it down. Kick it down the street. Get, get rid of it. <laughs> All right. So let's get some Zodiac cards on this and see what Zodiac signs are most showing up most dominantly for you, Cancer, at this point in time. If you're new to my channel and you don't know what the Zodiac cards are, I pull some Zodiac signs that are showing up most dominantly in your energy at this time. If your person signs come through, Take it as sign synchronicity if they don't, but this reading still resonated as crazy as it is with you. Um, then it's still your reading. Just means that these signs needed a little bit more confirmation. So we got Aquarius. And we've got Libra. We have Capricorn. We've got Taurus. We got your energy cancer. This will also be returning to past patterns too. That they don't want you to. And Scorpio with Aries at the bottom of the deck. 
All right, let's get your final relationship message so that you guys can get out of here. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th through February 14th, 2022. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for the Cancer Collective. What does Cancer most need to know at this time? Best relationship message for Cancer. Okay. And they spoke. We've got community, card number eight. All right, you're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another, and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads, and times when you lead and the other follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. All right, so the sense of community. Finding like-minded people such as yourself. All right, my beautiful cancers, that's all I have for you at this time. Be sure to smash that like button. Get this video out to all those that need to see it. If it resonated with you or simply just to say hello, drop a message in the comment box below. Otherwise, I will catch you guys next time. Please remember to live in light and love. Not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.